guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute otter cake topper. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget we do have many more tutorials over on our YouTube channel should you wish to watch them. Please do subscribe. So this video is one that we made in a Facebook Live last week. We do the Facebook Lives every Tuesday morning, 10.30am UK time. And obviously you can watch things there in real time and our YouTube versions are now just sort of the sped up version of the Facebook Live. So for this one, guys, we're going to be using the Serracino modeling paste. It's quite firm, so you have to give it a really good knead to kind of get it going. And I'm going to start by creating like a bit of a teardrop shape. I'm just using the pre-colored ones. And what I'm going to do is put links below the video to everything that I've used within the video. So all the products so you can find them. Now, we do sell the products on my website as well. So it is likely to take you to my website in the links. So I've pressed in an indentation under where I want the head to be. So it was about halfway down on this one and then I'm pulling the body out and it gives us this unusual little shape. And then I'm just pressing in where I want the eyes to go. So just pushing in for those eye sockets. And it's up to you whether you want them higher on the head or a little bit lower down. Just widening them with my fingers a bit. And let's work out whereabouts we want the legs to go. So I think the back leg's probably going to go about here. And I'm texturing it with a piping nozzle. Again, I'll link below to which ones I've used. You can also, if you want more hair-like texture, you can use a Dresden tool. That particular one that I was using was a metal Serrat one. Just gives it a bit of texture all over. And then we want like a really pale brown. So I've just mixed some white and brown together. And we're going to do like um, a lighter color for like around the face and the tummy. So I'm just going to squeeze it under the chin. Pressing it down fairly flat under there. And then when we put the piece that goes on the face over, it's going to kind of cover so the top edge of that so you won't see the untidy seam that I've got on there and that's just the paste I was showing you again guys that I was using give it a bit more texture and then we want a small piece of black for the nose so we start with a ball we pinch it at the top and then at the bottom we're also going to pinch it and I'm going to put that to one side to firm up I'm going to add two balls of the really pale brown just under sort of where the nose is going to go and then while that's just firming up I'm going to just pop in some white for the eye sockets for the eyeballs even some white eyeballs <laughs> once they're in there i'm going to draw on them with an edible pen so you can eat these the inks that come out of these pens guys if you've got a chance to let the eyeballs firm up a little bit before you do this then that's probably better because you can press a little bit hard and sometimes make indentations in those eyeballs but just be careful of that when you are doing it so i'm just blending it out with a little bit of water so it's not one flat color of brown maybe add a bit of green in there and then i've just got a black circle that we're just going to push in there so it's just black modeling paste that we're using again don't forget guys if you want to know what products i've used you can find everything below the video as well so linked below the video hopefully that'll help you and of course you don't have to use the same products as me but i know a lot of you guys do ask what i've used for these videos so just a small ball of white serracino now in each eye if you want to go smaller still you might even find that uh, edible pen is easier to use and then we're going to go back to the lighter brown and kind of just pull the big piece that's going to go over this whole bottom of the face section. Stretch it out as you're putting it on. The type of paste you use might determine on how easy it is to stretch or whether it's drying as you're working with it. So I've used the Serracino one because it gives me a little bit of time to work with it usually before it dries and cracks. So we've kind of pressed it down and can you see I've pushed a line between where those two little balls were that we put on its face. Then I'm going to push the nose back in place. Let's give him a little smile. So just pushing in either side of the mouth there. And then let's give him some texture. This time I think I'm just going to use the Dresden tool, so the sharp end of it, just to put in some fur little lines. We'll do that all over the face. And I think this one maybe could be holding a baby. So we're going to repeat the same kind of shape that we did for the, the first one, but much smaller. I think we'll have less detail on this smaller one you see i have had to kind of push an indentation into the face of the other one so i can squeeze these two pieces together texture that a little bit anyway you can't quite get into with that piping nozzle to texture it just use your dresden tool i'm going to push in some eye sockets probably a bit smaller with the eye sockets on this one i think we'll give it closed eyes this one as well closed eyes are always a little bit quicker <laughs> So just some brown in each eye. And then we can put a little line across. It's a little arch. And then we want a small bit of black that's going to go into the 
the little line we've just done for the little eyelashes. And then a smaller version of the nose. And then this time we're just going to add the two balls of the really pale brown. And it doesn't even really look brown, does it, on the video? But it's brown and white paste mixed together. So we're not covering the whole bottom half of the face on this one. A smaller ball just underneath for that chin there. Two small balls now for its little ears. Just push them either side of the head. Just pressed in the middle with a paintbrush handle to squeeze them on there. And then we're doing some little legs. The kind of teardrop-ish shapes that I've squished down a little bit. Try and texture them the best you can. Because they're only small um, and, and freshly made. Sometimes the texture kind of disappears a bit when you press it onto the body. Go a bit bigger for the larger one's arms. But really simple shapes. And just press it up from the shoulder up towards the baby. Just repeat the same for the other one. And then for the legs, we're going to kind of shape it slightly differently. So we've put a little line in and we've kind of squashed the end. That's going to be like the hip part. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard my tummy growling then. That's going to be the hip part there. And then we're going to stick these on. I might have made these little back legs a bit too big. I think I'd, I would have preferred to have gone a bit smaller, but they're on there now. It's done. They're on. And then you can just retexturize anything that you've kind of squashed out with your fingers. If you want to add any dust to change the colors up a little bit, you can do. These are edible powders that I'm using, guys. Remember, links are below the video to anything that I've used should you want to use the same things. And I've got loads of other cake topper tutorials and also cake tutorials. So if you do fancy watching any of those, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like or give it the thumbs up. So we're just adding a bit of shading now, anywhere that you you want to look like a little bit less flat. Usually anywhere that a shadow would form, you can go a little bit darker. Or anywhere that the sunlight would kind of catch, you could go really light on. But also have a look at the colorings of, of the animals for if you want to change the colors up a bit as well. So I'm just lightening the top of the head of this one a bit. So you see the ones I've made previously before the video. I did one with um, a head the same color as this one and the other one had a slightly lighter head. I didn't know which one I preferred. Which, which one do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments below. You can go a bit more extreme if you want with the shading. I've actually put a little bit of black on there as well. And if the powder drops on the eyes or anything, you can just gently take that off with a little bit of water on your brush. But a tiny bit, just a slightly damp brush there. So there it is, all finished. I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. Don't forget, if you want to watch them in real time, you want to catch me do them live, I do them over on my Facebook page at 10.30am UK time each Tuesday morning. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.